Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Firstly, let's thank to Allah Subhanahu wa taala the Almighty who has given us some mercies and blessings so that we can do our activity in healthy condition. And we are from group 1. We want to say thank you to Mrs. Lasmi Febrianing room as our tuval lecturer to give us the chance to present and explain about the strategies in listening comprehension part A in the tuval cast. But before we continue to our explanation and our present, let's our to introduce ourselves first. Rauda Tiljana as the first presenter, Putri Maulidia Faudi as the second presenter, Rika Melinia Savitri as the third presenter, and Sofia Tulholidia as the fourth or the last presenter. And now we continue to the first presenter. Okay, my name is Rauda Tiljana. I will explain about the strategy of listening comprehension part A in the Tuval test. In the Tuval test, you will hear a short conversation between two speakers followed by a question. After you listen to the conversation and question, you must choose the best answer to the question from your test book. And this is are the some strategies of listening comprehension in part A in the TOEFL test. The first strategy is, as you listen to each short conversation, focus on the second line of the conversation. Because the answer to the question is generally found in the second line. And the next is, keep in mind that the correct answer is probably a restatement of a keyword or idea in the second line of the conversation and think of possible restatement. Next is, keep in mind that certain structures and expressions are tested regularly in listening part A. And listen for these structures and expressions like structures, passive, negative, wish, and condition, functional expression like agreement, uncertainly, suggestion, and surprise, and idiomatic expressions like two-part verbs, three-part verbs, and idiom. And the next strategy is keep in mind that this question generally progresses progress from easy to difficult. This means that question 1 through 5 will be the easiest and question 26 to 30 will be the hardest. And the next strategy is read the answer and choose the best answer to the each question. Remember, remember to answer each question even you are not sure of the correct response and never leave any answer blank. And the last strategy is, if, if you don't understand the complete conversation, you can find the correct answer. With, if you only understand a few words or idea in the second line, choose the answer that contains a restatement of those words or ideas. And, if you didn't understand anything at all in the second line of the conversation, Choose the answer that sounds the most different from what you heard. And the last strategy is never choose an answer because it sounds like what you heard in the conversation. Thus all the strategy in the listening comprehension part A. And then continue to the next slide. The following skills will help you to implement the strategies in the listening comprehension part A section on the Tuval test. The first skill is focus on the second line. The second line of the conversation probably contains the answer to the question. Listen to the first line of the conversation. If you understand it, don't worry because it probably doesn't contain the answer. And then, be ready to focus on the second line of the conversation because it probably contained the answer. 
Repeat the second line in your mind as you read through the answer in the text. For the example in the Tuvel exercise 1 in the Longman book. You will hear the conversation. Woman, how soon will you be leaving? Man, I'm on my way now. What does the man mean? The correct answer is A. He is leaving now. Why? Because if you focus on the second line, you will hear that the man say, I am on my way now. It is the same with he is leaving now. Next to the second skill. The second skill is choose answer with synonyms. As you listen to the second line of the conversation, focus on the keywords in that line. If you see any synonyms for keywords in a particular answer, then you have probably found the correct answer. For the example in the Tuvel exercise 2, you will hear the conversation. Woman, what did you think on the final exam in algebra? Man, it was too easy. What does the man mean? The possible answer, the correct answer is D. The exam was not very difficult. Why? Because choose answer with synonym. The, the man say that the it was too easy and the synonym of easy is not difficult. So D is the possible answer. That's all from me. Thank you. Next, my name is Putri Molidia Faudi. As the second presenter, we'll explain about skill 3, 4, 5, and 6 in the listening comprehension to full test. Skill 3. Avoid similar sounds. Identify keywords in the second line of the conversation. Identify words in the answer that contain similar sounds and do not choose this answer. For example, Tufel Exercise 3. You will hear the conversation. Man, how long until you'll be ready to leave? Woman, first, I need to water the grace. What does the woman mean? What is the answer? The answer is C. Because in the second line conversation, the answer that contains similar sound, that water the grace. Next, we continue to the fourth skill. Skill 4. Draw conclusion about who, what, where. It is common for you to be asked to draw one of the following conclusions in listening part A. Who is a probably talking? What will she or he probably do next? Where does the conversation probably take place? For example, Tuvel exercise 4. You will hear the conversation. Woman, I didn't bring my laboratory manual today. Man, you can share mine. Today, we are conducting the experiment on photosynthesis and we can work together. Where does this conversation probably take place? What is the answer? The answer is B. Because they want to do experiment on photosynthesis. Next, we continue to the fifth skill five. Listen for who and what in the passive. If the conversation contains a passive statement, the answer to the question is often an active statement. If the conversation contains an active statement, the answer to the question is often a passive statement. For example, Tufel Exercise 5. You will hear the conversation. 
Man, would you like to go to the new restaurant on the corner? Woman, is that the one that serves vegetarian food? What does the woman want to know? What is the answer? The answer is D. Because woman said in the active sentence, the woman want to know the new restaurant is vegetarian food. Next, we continue to the sixth skill. Skill six. Listen for who and what with multiple nouns. When there are multiple nouns in a sentence, it is common for the answer to confuse which noun does what. Example To follow your exercise 6 You will have the conversation Man The passenger arrived in a taxi Woman Yes And then she had the taxi driver wait at the corner What does the woman mean? What the answer? The answer is C. Because there is multiple nouns in a sentence. She had the taxi driver wife. Maybe enough for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Rika Melinia Safitri. As the third presenter, will explain about Skill 7, 8, 9, 10 in the listening comprehension table test. The first is skill 7. Listen for negative expressions. The following chart outlines the type of negative expressions that you should be careful of. Types of negative expressions. Expressions. The first, regular negative, such as not or an. For example, Tom is not said about the result. The correct answer, not said, similar with happy. And then, other negative, such as nobody, noun, nothing, never. For example, nobody arrive on time. Sal never work hard. The correct answer, nobody are on time, similar with late, and never work hard, similar with lazy. And the last, negative prefix, such as an, in, this. For example, the patient was insane. The correct answer, insane, similar with not same or crazy. And then, the example to follow exercise 7. You can hear the conversation. Man, are you going to take out the trash? Woman, I have no time to do it. What does the woman mean? The correct answer is A. She is very busy. Why? Because she has no time to do it. No time is negative expressions and then no time is similar with busy. For the next, skill X. Listen for double negative expressions. The following chart outlines the situation where double negative can occur. Double negative situation. Negative word. For example, not, no, none. And a negative prefix. For example, in, an, this. The example, he didn't like the unclean, unclean office. The meaning, did not like unclean office similar with like clean office and then two negative verb for example it isn't snowing so they aren't 
going to the mountains. The meaning implies that they would go if it were snowing. And the last, neither or not, either. For example, Sue didn't like the movie and neither did Mark. The meaning, both did not like the movie. The example to full exercise A. You can hear the conversation here. Man, do you think Ron Rogers will be elected? Woman, well, it is not completely impossible. What does the woman imply about Ron? The correct answer is they. It might happen. Why? Because the situation is there is negative word, not an impossible. For the next skill 9, listen for almost negative expression. The following chart outline common almost negative expressions. Common almost negative expression. The meaning? First, almost noun expressions. Hardly, barely, scarly, and only. For example, there is hardly any food in the refrigerator. And the last, almost never. Expressions, rarely, seldom. For example, he rarely drives to work. For example, to TOEFL exercise 9. You can hear the conversation. Man, do you expect a lot of rain this month? Woman, it hardly ever rains in July. What does the, the man mean? The correct answer is A. There is little rain in July. Why? Because there is little rain in July, almost non expressions that the word hardly. For the next, skill 10. Listen for negative with comparative. The following chart outline comparative. Compressions that you should be careful of when they are used with negative. Comparative with negative. Comparative. More. For example, no one is more beautiful than she is. The meaning, she is the most beautiful. And last, air. For example, we couldn't be happier. The meaning, he is extremely happy. Example for TOEFL exercise 10. You can hear the conversation. Man, are you pleased with the exam results? Woman, I couldn't be happier. What does the woman mean? The correct answer is D. She is delighted with the result. Why? Because she said I couldn't be happier. It means that she is extremely happy. Okay, uh, I think enough for me. Thank you. Well, my name is Sofia Tul Holidia. I'm the last presenter. Okay, we go to the 11 skill. Skill 11. Listen for expression of agreement. If you can see here, there are two tables. The first is agreement with positive statement, such as, so do I, me too, I will say, isn't it? You can say that again. And the second is agreement with negative statement. The example, neither do I, I don't either. Okay, for example, in TOEFL exercise 11, number 1, you can hear the conversation. Man, I'd like to take a trip down the coast this weekend. 
woman. Me too. What does the woman mean? The correct answer is D. She would also like to take a trip. Why? Because in the conversation, the man replay me, the woman replay me too. Me too is positive agreement, agreement with positive statement that because the man said I'd like to take a trip and then the woman said me too. So the correct answer is D. She would also like to take a trip. Okay, and then go to the 11 skill that listen for expression of uncertainty and suggestion. Uncertainty such as question tag, as far as I know, as far as I can tell. At the suggestion, why not blah blah blah, let's blah blah blah. The example is TOEFL exercise 12 number 1 and you can hear the conversation. Woman, are we supposed to read all 10 chapters before the exam? Man, as far as I can tell, we are. What does the man mean? The correct answer is B. He thinks he knows what the assignment. Why B? Because in the conversation, the man replay, as far as I can tell, it means uncertainty expression. So, it's same with he said that he thinks he knows what the assignment is. Okay, and the last skill is skill 13. Listen for empathic expression of surprise. The following chart of learn various ways to express empathic surprise. There are verb, empathic form, example in meaning. The verb like to be. The empathic form to be with emphasis. The example is then he is here. The meaning I thought he was not here. The verb is modal, modal with emphasis. Then you can go. I thought you could not go. Present tense, do or does with emphasis. The example, then you do play tennis. It means I thought you didn't play tennis. Past tense, did with emphasis. The example, then she did read it. It means I thought she had not read it. Perfect tense. Have with emphasis. The example then he has gone there. It means I thought he had not gone there. For example, to full exercise 13. You will hear the conversation. Man, Greg should be here any moment. Woman. Then he is coming to the party. What had the woman assumed? The correct answer is C. Greg was unable to attend the party. Why? Because the woman replied, he is coming to the party. It is expression of empathic surprise that prison continues tense. And then the example is and then the sentence, I mean the sentence is, he is coming to the party. So, it means he is not coming to the party. And the correct answer is C. Greg was unable to attend to the party. Okay, this all about our discussion is taken from Longman preparation course for the TOEFL test. Page 11 until 46. We think enough from us. If we have any mistakes, pardon us please. 
And the last we say Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh